Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to set up tags on Proxmox virtual environment. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first of all, what actually tags allows us? Okay. So tags actually is a way that allows you to attach a colorful tag as you can see here on my uh, Proxmox virtual environment and this colorful tag can be actually attached to a single VM okay so that will allows you actually to increase the visibility especially if you have multiple uh, VM running in your Proxmox environment and also it can uh, let you organize things more efficiently okay so in this video i'm going to show you actually how to set up that on proxmox but first of all let me show you where you can see them okay so here i actually i made an example so here you can see that i have uh, made two tags one of the color rose or lila actually and one of the color green for linux okay so here i have just set up two tags and these tags as you can see are displayed just next to our vm so here for example for my windows 7 machine i have the tags windows and for the windows 2019 i have also a tag windows and i set up two tags for freenas and pihall which has as a label Linux okay so as you have seen these tags can be actually seen next to our virtual machine okay but they can also be seen if you go to here to your data center you click on your data center in your Proxmox virtual environment okay and you click on this search tab here okay so here you can see at the far end column there is a column named tags where you can see the different tags that you have set up for your virtual machines okay so now that we have seen where you can see them let's actually set up them so of you have seen i have already set up two so let's add for example another one called for example a production and attached it to some virtual machine here okay so in order to set up uh, tags there is actually you have to click on data center here in your uh, server view proxmox virtual environment and go here to options okay here we go and here just at the bottom there are three main parameters that you have to set up so there is tag style override user tag access and registered tags okay so this three actually parameters will allow us to set up tags but the most important one actually is this one here tag style override so i will just click on it and go to edit here we go so now you can see a window has appeared with some different options also so the first one is the tree shape so it i have set up, uh, set up this uh, tree shape for full which allows us to actually get a tag with the label and the name inside it as you can see here but if you prefer to change it you can set up something else for example a circle here we go so i choose a circle here and i click ok so i have no labels no more i have only a circle okay so let's uh, double click on it i can also change it for uh, dense which actually in this case will replace the circle by actually a uh, bar here we go as you can see now okay but as we want a label in our tag all we have to do is to choose actually the full option here okay which allows us to tag with the name our tags okay and here the ordering so if you have multiple actually tag 
you can sort them alphabetically or by configuration but the default is alphabetical okay so I will leave that and here I have set up case sensitive okay so let's add as I told you another tag and let's call it uh, actually production so I will hit here the button add and I will label that production or just prod okay and here you have the background color that you can choose from and by default the text color is actually as you can see here is white but if you want to change the background color it's pretty easy all you have to do is to click on this color here and another colorful palette will appear so you can choose whatever color you want so for example let's choose something like blue here we go you can change the density of your color here we go I'm done so it's okay so for the prod or let's just name it production here we go now as you can see we have three tags Linux Windows and production okay here user tag access here for the user tag access I will choose the mod existing in order to choose the predefined tags that I have actually already set up okay so you can choose free list or none actually this user tag access is the way do which allows us which user have actually to use tags because not everyone can use tags you must have the sys that modify authorization in order to do that but as we are logging as a root we can actually use tag in and I'll choose the mod existing okay but the register tag is not also not important so I'll just stick with the one that I have created here now in order to attach a tag to a VM it's pretty simple so for example let's attach this production tag to the machine Eve NG for example so all I have to do is to go here to click on the machine and here you can see here in the options or just at the up here you will see no tags but there is an edit tag so you can click on it and you hit the the plus button for adding a tag and here you enter the name that I have already uh, put which is production production and here we go I have attached the tag production to my machine here even G and as you can see it has appeared here okay so this is a way that you can use in order to attach a tag to uh, a machine but if you if you if you prefer to use uh, command line you can also do it so let's go to the CLI so the console or the shell here we go for the PVE environment so let's attach for example this production tag to the let's say for example to Pi alert machine so also it's pretty easy you have to type QM then set then here you have to provide the IG of the virtual machine so in this case it's 106 here we go 106 then dash dash tags then here you have to provide the name of the tag so in this case I will choose production and I will hit enter here we go so here does not exist so here actually I have a problem with this machine so let's choose another one for example uh, let's set it for uh, machine for Kubernetes server which is 105 actually here we go so as you can see the tag production is attached to the machine with ID 105 okay so this is the most convenient way to attach tags to any machine that you want okay but I have to uh, actually mention one thing here I have chosen the colors so for uh, let me return back to the options here so here I have actually 
choose the colors so remember for production I have chosen the blue color so let's attach it here for example for the Cisco Cisco controller the tag here so I will add it I will add here production production but you will notice here the color is not as the one that we have previously assign it here it's uh, blue here it not, it's not blue so how come so actually this is due to the option that we have chosen which is case sensitive so if I return back to data center options tag style here we have actually checked case sensitive so if you didn't uh, make the production with capital P Proxmox will give us a random color Okay, so if you want to get the colors associated with the same tag that you have defined here, you have to make sure to type the same exact color case sensitive for your tag. So let's return back here. So if I uh, actually change this tag here from uh, I'll choose just capital P here here we go and now I get the colors that I have actually chosen okay so you can see how easy it is you can use tags in order to simplify things or increase visibility for your different VM that they're running in your Proxmox environment so that was just a brief uh, video to show you how to set up tags in Proxmox virtual environment as always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.